Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I'm going to draw the once slot from the Lorax, and thanks for your suggestion. So I'm going to start with an oval shape for the head, where the head's going to go, and then I'm just going to map on where the hat's going to be. So the hat's going to come around like so. There's a bit more of the top hat there. Then we've got the neck coming into the neck. Then the shoulder, that one's coming down, that one's coming down on that angle. Then the arm. Just blocking the arm in. The arm actually comes back on that angle, so the elbow comes back. Big glove and hand through here. That's holding an axe which is sitting on the shoulder. So let's put that axe in. The end of the axe there. And then that comes down. This shoulder comes off here, comes back on, and this is going to touch his hip. This is going to be his big glove and hand, sort of, there's the fingers, hand, wrist. That comes on an angle like that and curves around. That's the body, and that's the body here. The waistcoat goes to about there, this is the waist. Axe head's going to sit in here, like so. The pop legs are going to be right down to near the, to the bottom of the page. So there's one leg. And this leg comes in like that. And there's the other leg. So there's basically the one slot planned out, ready to go. Because it's a detailed drawing, I'm going to use my 0 0.05 multi-liner. And let's start with the nose. There's the nose, curve shape. Now one eye, curve the top around, and then curve the bottom bit around like that, and put one, two, three, four lashes on. Eye and eyeball there. One. And the other eye is similar out this side. Oval with it. That bit. And we're putting a couple. Of one, two, three, four lashes out there. Eyebrow. And then a big smile. Like so. Let's put the chin on. Big cheek coming in like that. An ear here. And then there's hair in front of the ear. So the hair comes down there. And then round here. And then down past the face. Lots of hair in behind there. This is the hat line. And then there's actually more hair coming down here. Neck into there's the other neck part. And let's now do the hat. Bring the hat around like so. Then you see a little bit of the black piece and then this part here. There's the hat for the one slot. Now let's draw his collar on. Of his main shirt there. It's got like a seam. Bring that back up. Comes down. Now he's got his vest. There's his vest. His shoulder. Just make that a little bit higher. Bring his vest down. Bring that around. And that's going to button up. One, two buttons. This vest is opened. And then this is his vest sleeve where his shirt goes. Shoulder comes out a bit more. Now bring his arm out. Pointy elbow. And then 
bring his arm back. Now he's got some sort of rolled up sleeve. And he's got his glove. Hands on, on his legs. There's his top that comes out from underneath there. These are his pants coming out. His glove. And he's got one finger. Two. Three. And his thumb's in behind there. And he's got that part of his glove like that. A couple little fold bits where the glove goes. Up against his pants. He's got a pocket. Bring his pants down. All the way down a couple little bumps for wear at the bottom there other leg bring that down a few bumps along here bring that back up and around now let's draw his shoes he's got these cool shoes on with a little bit of a high heel so that comes down and around and they're pointy shoes like that so there comes around and then just bring this down into a bit of a heel there. Now this is the same a bit of a heel. And it points around with the sole on. Now it's time to put on his other arm and then his axe. Now I've probably made his head a little bit bigger than normal but I wanted to show you the details in his face. Then bring his arm up. Don't forget his folds in his arm and then his bit of his sleeve like that. Now he's got his glove on. Got that brown bit there. Palm of his hand. He's got some brown bits on the insides of his gloves. This is his thumb. And he's got a middle finger there. Another finger here. Like that. And then his other finger just sits on top of the axe like that. And there's a finger just in here. And then these are all got brown bits on them. Here's the axe coming through. Oval shape on the end of the axe. Axe comes through. Over the back. Into there. Now we've got the axe coming around. Back up like that into a point. Now curve for the X then bring that back down and around like that and you can put a bit of wood grain on here make it look like a wooden handled X I'm just going to go around my once look with a thicker pen, probably not a one, but a maybe a 0.5.